Hey there, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time, thanks for stopping by. I hope there'll be enough here to uh, cause you to want to subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. Um, I'm out here on my back deck right now shooting this little video. I've got my chocolate lab over here, Bear. He's uh, out here with me as well. So hopefully he'll keep quiet not bark at something crazy that you might see. Uh, we kind of live out in the country, so there's not a whole lot here to get him all fired up, but he never ceases to amaze me. He'll find something to uh, to bark at, but anyway, we'll make we'll make do. So, wanted to do this a bit of an intro video. Um, most of you, most of my subscribers or those who will watch this won't know me uh, from Adam, so I just want to do like a bit of an intro video so you can kind of get to know me and kind of who I am so that when you watch videos in the future, you'll have a little bit more maybe of an understanding of why I do the things I do, say the way, say things the way I do or speak the way I do, whatever. So uh, my name's Jeff. I was born Jeffrey, of course, and uh, uh, I'm from Missouri originally. I grew up in Missouri, although I moved away a number of years to... Uh, Kind of pursue a mil military career. Um, I'm married. My wife and I have been married for, I'll probably get this wrong, 32 years. We'll be 33 this spring, I believe. So we've been together a long time. Um, got married young, got started young. So we've just kind of um, made it work and it's been great. And uh, without her, I wouldn't be who I am today. So we have three adult children, two sons and one daughter. Uh, they're all they're all professionals in their own careers, and they're doing well, and we're we're uh, very happy uh, for them. We have one grandson who is, as you can imagine, the light of our lives. Uh, he's certainly uh, one that I'm going to miss on this adventure when I take off here in a couple of months. Um, but I feel like him being his current age, he won't be. He'll be two in March. This March, he'll be two, so he's still kind of young. I think as he gets older, he probably won't even remember this adventure or me being gone for a few months or whatever the case will end up being. So I feel like it's as good a time now as ever to do this journey as far as he's concerned. Um, my wife's been a trooper in uh, signing off on this whole deal and, and being okay with me doing this too. So that's that's been wonderful. Um, so my entire adult life, I've been in the fire service so right after high school, I went into the Air Force. The Air Force decided I'd make a good firefighter. And so I went to Air Force Fire School and got all trained up and did active duty Air Force firefighting for uh, around eight years or so. And I just kind of got to a point where I was a little bit underwhelmed at Air Force firefighting. So I we made the decision to separate off active duty moved back to Missouri, and I would try to get on a career department, my home department, um, where I grew up. So that's exactly what we did. So I separated with about seven and a half or eight years in, on active duty. I went right into the Air Force Reserve, so I had no break in service. And I continued with my Air Force career in the Reserves for another 22 years. So I retired out of the Air Force with just over 30 years of service um, in 2020. While I was in the reserves, of course, I was able to get hired on to my career department here in town and uh, put 23 years in there and just retired from them uh, this past May. So I've been retired, what, six or seven months. I'm not too great at math, but anyway, I'm fully retired right now. Uh, my wife's still working. And uh, so that's kind of a little bit more about me and my, my professional life, I guess. People often describe me as stoic, kind of quiet, a uh, bit of an introvert, um, low-key, those types of things. I don't know if that's just my personality or whether that kind of came as a result of my service in the in the military and, and the fire service as a whole, but I mean, I, just kind of who I am, I guess. So uh, what do I enjoy? I enjoy, of course, spending time with our grandson, with our kids. We're close-knit family, so we do a lot of things together. Um, I enjoy most sports. Uh, I love to fish. I love to um, camp. I love to hunt. I love to hike. Bear and I 
go hiking quite frequently. Just a variety of different trails around here. He loves it as much as I do. He will not obviously be going on the AT with me. I'm going to do this alone, but um, so I enjoy hiking. Um, I am new to backpacking. I'm not a seasoned backpacker. I've never backpacked, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, I like hiking, but I've never backpacked. So all of this is new. Um, I've been, I've been, you know, working with my backpack and doing some, you know, some work workouts and, and doing some shakedown hikes and testing my gear and all that kind of stuff. But I have no real experience, um, in true backpacking. So I've got a lot to learn. Um, I've been watching, uh, AT vloggers for probably the last at least four years, probably. Um, I won't name all of them here cause there's been quite a few that I've watched, but, uh, just, you know, truly inspirational. And that's part of why I am opting to kind of do some vlogging as well as to kind of give back to the community. Maybe other aspiring through hikers will find something in my, in my journey that inspires them to um, go ahead and go with it. But yeah, so I am a novice backpacker. Um, I'm looking forward to, uh, hiking the AT. Um, what else can I tell you other than that? I mean, I will tell you a few future videos that I have in mind within the next couple of weeks, probably I'm going to do a, a, a vlog on my big three, which will be my shelter, my sleep system and my backpack. I'll do a video on those three items, show you exactly what I'm intending to use while on the trail. I'll also do a separate full gear video where I'll go over every single thing that's in my pack, every individual item I'll break down. Of course, that'll be a longer video if you're interested in that. Um, so I'll do a full gear video at some point. Uh, I'll also do a separate video on why am I hiking? What's, you know, what draws me to want to attempt a through hike of the AT? Um, I'll do a separate video on that. And then I'll also continue to do additional shakedown hikes and other gear tests. Uh, we got a cold week coming up this next week. Um, a number of nights are gonna dip into the single digits. There's several nighttime temps of seven, eight degrees. One night even shows zero degrees. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm gonna be out here in zero degree temperatures sleeping in my tent, but I do intend at least one night to, to try and get out here on one of those real cold nights. And I, I just want to test my gear and see where it's at, um, you know, with a, with a quilt. And, I, and I've also just recently got for Christmas a Sea to Summit reactor liner from my, from my quilt. So I haven't tested that out together yet. So I want to do that and uh, just kind of see where I'm at. And I think it's extremely important to know, know the capabilities of your gear and and I'm going to try and capitalize on these cold temps coming up soon to uh, try and do a little bit of that. So I hope to God I don't find zero degree temperatures on the AT. I'm not. I'm starting in late February, so I know anything's possible, but I'll keep my fingers crossed that I wouldn't see anything quite that cold. Um, I'm really hoping for nothing even in the single digits, but uh, like I said, I know I know a lot of things are possible out there, so... That's some future videos that I've got in mind. Uh, this video's gone too long, so I'm fixing to, to uh, pop out of here. But again, I appreciate you stopping by and uh, hope you found some value in this. And, and uh, we'll look to catch you next time. All right, bye.